So after calculating the drag using our, our own integration routines, of course it makes sense to not just use our own integration routines. Um, so these are things that are, these are integration routines that are available in SciPy integrate as ODE int, um, and that work exactly the same way. So we pass it um, the function, the right hand side function, the initial conditions, and the time steps at which we want to calculate the, um, uh, the solutions. And uh, we can just call this integrate ODE int, um, and that gives us the same answer. And as you can see, um, or values and the values that return that are returned from ODE int um, are, are virtually identical. Um, we could look at the differences, um, and you see that they're within zero point, uh, or again, ap approximately ten to the minus five. Um, the difference, you know, this this thing that happens here, this kink in this curve, is because of the sine function. The sine function is not non-differentiable around zero, and this is of course around the time where that uh, that drag is actually changing. So that's when the algorithm realizes that something has changed um, and it starts to behave a little bit differently. So, so you'll see that there are these um, kind of effects, but of course these are all within, um, within the, the small um, errors that we are, uh, we are tolerating here. Okay, so um, if you do want to do some integration and you don't want to use our own um, uh, Rukakuta solver, um, you can always use the ODE int um, solver that's in, uh, in SciPy. Um, 